don't, yeah, don't believe it. I can hear it. You're back. Does that mean it's the third puzzle completions game? I think I better sit down. So here we are again, Puzzle Completions Gang. One point of order before I start. Mark, you have got to remember to look at the lens, not at the screen. Don't look at the screen. Because on the last one, the second, I looked like I had one eye in Moscow and the other one in Timbuktu. I must look at the lens. Right. Onward. So, here we are, let's have a review where we are. So, we've had five people in the Puzzle Completions Gang. Four of them are in the US of A. One is in Northern Ireland, and the rest of the world is sadly lacking. We need a bit of action. But, let's see what today brings. Right, so... Once again, how do you get on the Puzzle Completions Gang? The best thing you can do is look at the first and the second episodes. Because I explain it on there and people who are regulars don't want to hear me whiffling and waffling on about sending in info and forms and things like that. But there is something that we're going to try and now we're getting into a step of things, expand on. And that's for you guys to stop listening to me chat and we'll have little breaks of listening to you guys chat. What we want is for you guys to be sending in videos, which we may double up and put on Facebook in the Jigsaw Chill Zone, um, about things about you. So maybe you could be reviewing puzzles that you've done. Or just talking about doing a puzzle like we do on here. So instead of me telling you all the information or tell it, me telling you about where you live, you just tell us. Maybe you could tell us about your favourite brands or types of puzzles that you like doing or what you don't like doing. Um, show us what maybe you might have an interesting puzzle set up at home. Just basically tell us about your puzzling life. Yeah, mine's pretty puzzling as well. Yeah, I've got a puzzling life. So, all that said, let's get on with the action and let's go for draw one. So, let's go again. She knows something's going on. I tried to make a casserole the other day. She says I'd rather have meat in it than wooden Jenga pieces. Off we go. And the first one drawn out today is number 13. Oh, lucky 13, shall we? Does it, does it stand up there? So let's go into our lovely trusty blue book. Number 13 is, well, the world is striking back. We have Donna Tirare. And if I do it right again, there's Donna. She's a Kaiko or a tutor. I take it is a Keiko Maori because Donna is from. We've got someone else. New Zealand. She comes from a place called Tokoroa. And there's a photo of Tokoroa. 
Tokoro was the fifth largest town in Waikato region in the North Island of New Zealand. Donna has highlighted to us a feature of Tokoroa called Talking Poles. So, there was positive support for them um, reached at a public meeting in 1997 after being suggested by landscape designer Colleen Priest. There are currently 46 poles that represent Tokoroa's many different cultures, clubs and organisations and it was thought that these might sort of generate tourism and interest to the area as well as engender um, a pride uh, in the region of the people of Tokoroa. And there is a picture of a man-made lake in autumn which looks lovely and uh, could be a puzzle I think in itself. So um, Donna's puzzle. This is a mystery jigsaw puzzle called Murder Most Puzzling by University Games and it's a thousand pieces. It took her approximately six days to do and she enjoyed every aspect of it. So the aspect of, a, of one of these puzzles is to work out who did the murder and why. So if you don't want to see the finished puzzle, look away and I'll tell you when to look back. The puzzle comes with a book that has clues and some of the pages are printed uh, backwards so they require a mirror. Um, and at the end of the book, it gives clues as to what is in the puddle to work out the culprit. Those looking away, look back. Oh, the power. Yeah, the power. Right, look at the lens, Mark. Look at the lens. Um, she says when she'd finished it, she gave it to a friend to do. Um, and she's, Donna is generally a person who likes puzzles of a thousand pieces or over. And she likes any type of puzzle. This is how she sees puzzles um, in line with her own uh, life. So, opening a puzzle to start is as her life. Pouring the pieces onto the table is her life, e.g. work, family, basically what she needs to do. Sorting out the pieces uh, is the process of sorting out her life. Each piece she puts together means how her life fits into each other without having to make it fit, so it's all working nice. And when the puzzle is finished, it's her life in order and complete. Absolutely marvellous. So there's Donna Terari, and she's made it into the Puzzle Completions Gang. New Zealand, somewhere new in the world. Brilliant. On with draw two. So off we go with draw two. Give them a good swish. And we will pull out number 14. 13 and 14. Right, let's see towards the back, and we have, ah, we've got a new country. This is Jay Cibrero. There's a photograph of Jay, with him on the Isle of Wight, on the south coast of England, where incidentally Jay says that's where his puzzling addiction actually started. Jay's 44, he's a metal worker um, and he's now living for the past year in Portsmouth, Hampshire on the south coast of England. This, he says, is a photograph of Ports Downhill overlooking Portsmouth with typical English weather. Beautiful. He says uh, Portsmouth, um, his family love it there, but he was actually born in Spain, in A Coruña, Galicia, in northern Spain. 
Now he says this is mainly a fishing and boat making town um, and Spain is where he would like his flag placing on the map. This photograph is outside the cathedral of Santiago de Campostela, which is about 10, uh, sorry, 20 kilometers from where he was born. I'm trying to keep your teeth in tonight, doing quite well. He's on the left with his father and stepdaughter with typical Spanish weather. Not nearly as nice as England. Jay actually supplied two puzzles for us, the first of which is called Farmyard Friends by Gibson. There's a picture, but I prefer this picture with Jay's sneaky feet. Very good. Famous feet. Um, it's a thousand pieces by Gibson and it took him about a week on and off. And he says the hard part was the sky. Here's a nice pic of Jay with the puzzle, or with Jay playing hide and seek with the puzzle. Mm. His second puzzle um, is a puzzle called No Place Like Gnome. Ravensburger, uh, 500 pieces, and this one took him about 10 hours. He says the difficult part was all the red hats because it, it does look pretty uh, repetitive and, and pretty difficult. Um, Jay actually sent in some progress photos, which is a great thing to do. Please, the more photographs that you can send, it can just make it nicer, and you see a more gradual build up of the um, of the of, of the of the puzzle. So anyway, here we go. We're going back into a tiny time lapse, and this music is from episode two. Uh, from a band I used to be in called Outer Bounds, and the track is Elisa. And if you listen to the words on episode two, it's all about a chap who's um, in jail and he's feeling a little bit sorry for himself. So he's, he's listening uh, to the radio. Right, enjoy the tiny time lapse feature. <laughs> You're back. Can't you send more photographs in? What me banana? Really hungry. Right, so there's Jay Sobrero, and he's in the puzzle completions gang. So let's get on with the the maps and the countries table. So where are we? So we have Donna Terrari and literally. Our world is expanding. I've had to move that across because we're right down in this corner here. And Tokoroa is quite near Hamilton, I understand. And boringly, I sort of know where that is. So there you go. So there's Donna right down there. Tell you what, let's have a flag looking like the rest. A little bit OCD. Oh, yeah. And Jay Cibrero is having his in uh, Spain, A Coruña, which is in the northwest corner of Spain. There we go. Very good. So now we have seven. So let's have a look at that. Uh, countries league table so the USA remain 
on top with four people and we have Northern Ireland, New Zealand and Spain all in second place. It's sort of like the rest of the world take on the USA. 4-3 they're still winning. So come on the rest of the world, get your stuff in. Let's have this uh, map filled out with flags. Lovely. So that's the end of the third Puzzle Completions Gang. But just as a little tidbit, the next time you see me, I will be introducing the new Jigsaw Chill Zone member interactive feature. And it will be called the Puzzles World Tour. And ah, I'm going to have these. Here we go, all sorts of things coming. These are ready for them. Got some lovely Ziploc bags for putting the puzzles in. But all that to come. Mark, look at the lens. So, we're all wrapped up. The next time I see you will be about the Puzzles World Tour. Hope you've enjoyed this. Get all your stuff in. Get your videos in. And shall we do adios again? Yeah, why not? Bye-bye.